it can hinder so many things. So in business, when you're affirming who people are, you need to be tactful in your words. And also not be excessive in your words. It's all about maintaining your morale level in company settings. So saying thank you is just normal. Having a good day is just being polite. You have to be able to not only affirm in your personal life, but also in others. And then when it comes to handling business, those three departments are very key. And if you have a manager right when it comes to affirmation, you can only be better. You can only be greater than what you was yesterday. Because affirmation is food for the soul. So take the time out to get stickies. Take the time out to get reminders put in your phone just to affirm who you are. And mainly because this world is a cold world. It will prey on your weaknesses and watch you propel out of control and then say they got an answer. So you have to be mindful of that. You have to be so in tune with self and affirming who you are that by the time people send you accolades while crossing the street or going to sit outside, you're not swayed by their affirmations to the point that you put them on a pedestal or you deem them as worthy to interact with you. It's one thing to affirm and really take the time out to get to know someone. But it's another thing when you start labeling who or what they should be. Affirmation is the very thing you should be packing when going on business trips. It's not what you wear. It's how you wear it. How you present yourself as an individual. So, I encourage you to not only encourage yourself, but encourage others and encourage your business. This concludes the topic on affirmation for for this Tuesday. This is Life Coaching with Inc. ER Emotional Response.